Madden 21 is only 48 hours away, boys. If you got EA access, you can play Madden 21 this Friday. And boys, let me tell you, the fucking hype is real. So yesterday, EA did a live stream. Over there, we streamed a little bit too, kind of with my live reaction. So if you guys want to see anything that may have missed in the stream, be sure to check that out. But after the stream, Mutt had dropped this beautiful database with every single player that is going to be a Madden 1 Ultimate Team to start of the year, including a promo from last year that is making its return in Team Builders. So for those of you who do not remember Team Builders from last year, these, these were Team Builders. As you leveled up, you would unleash a badge. Then once you get that badge, you would come over here and you would put it into what team you wanted. So say we wanted the Broncos, for example, we put that badge in there, it would unlock 16 solos that you had to play all the way through, which let's face it, it's fucking boring. And then you would be able to unleash one of these players, like this George Kittle, like this Darius Slay, and like this Adrian Amos. So those are back in the game this year. There's just a little twist on them. Instead of an 86 overall, they're only an 84, because EA is gonna EA, bro. But the big difference is, is not only does each team get one, they get two. You get to pick between one player on the offensive side of the ball or one player on the defensive side of the ball. So there's a lot more team builders for you to choose from, and there's actually some pretty damn good ones. So what we're gonna do today, we are gonna go through, I'm gonna showcase all four pages of like 64 fucking team builders. So please like this video and subscribe. First up with the Arizona Cardinals, we got Corey Peters, a defensive tackle. He looks not that good. And then we got DJ Humphreys, who is a left tackle. He looks like he's pretty solid in the running game, but pass blocking, not too much, but it's fucking bad. And who, who passes the ball, bro? Next up, we got the Falcons. We got AJ Turrell, a corner back he's got 90 speed and 80 zone so this card might actually be pretty good there's a couple cornerbacks that have about 90 speed which are going to be able to keep up with the Tyree kills and that and he's got pretty impressive zone right there so this card might not be bad he's six foot one as well and then we got Chris Lindstrom who is a left guard who honestly nobody really gives him like linemen aren't people bro Buffalo Bills we got AJ Klein who is a right outside linebacker and then we got John Feliciano Feliciano, mwah. But it's the fucking Bills, bro. Unless you're Rachel Bush, nobody cares about the Bills. Panthers, we got Jeremy Chin over here rocking with that 88 speed, 85 hit power. Card does not look bad at all, sitting at six foot three. And then we got Teddy Two Gloves over here rocking at quarterback. And we got the most irrelevant team in the NFL, the Chicago Bears, rocking with David Montgomery, cause you know, Bears didn't fucking use him, so I guess we have to an ultimate team. And then Tashawn Gibson. We got Trey Hopkins over here rocking with the Bengals. And then we got Trey Waynes, who is another really good cornerback. Same with that 90 speed. I believe AJ Terrell is a little bit better just because he has the better zone coverage and he's an inch taller. Bro, if you know, sometimes one inch just makes a world of a difference. <laughs> Cleveland Browns with Grant Delpit. Same with an 88 hip hour, 86 speed. Six foot three. I like this card. This card looks really good over there at free safe safety. Then we got Jedrick Wills, who looks decent. He's very well rounded in the passing game and the running game. So not bad. We got the Dallas Cowboys rocking with Xavier Woods, 87 speed, 87 hit power. Pretty solid right there. And then Blake Jarwin, who looks actually not terrible, but not good. It looks like they gave a lot of rookies some love. We got Jerry Judy right here with that 88 speed at wide receiver. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty fast wide receiver there, day one. And then Alex Johnson, which if you have the choice, you need to go Jerry Judy. That 88 speed's gonna be nice. We got DeAndre Swift over here with that 88 speed, not too bad. And then Gerard Davis with the Lions. And then the greatest team that America has ever seen. Fucking title town, baby. Aaron Rodgers, the GOAT. We got the Green Bay Packers, and they got Dean Lowry and Corey Lindsley. What the fuck? We got H-Town no for the biggest cheating scandal in baseball history with Nick Martin and Gary Ann Clooney. Yeah, both cards suck. Fuck you, Houston. Colts gained some love with their second round rookie wide receiver, Michael Pittman. Card actually looks decent. 86 speed sent at six foot four. He is a big, big target to throw to. 86 speed is pretty decent for day one of Madden. And then they got Kenny Moore, the second. Why? 
I thought it would be wouldn't it be Junior? Dude, this guy's defizzing all logic of the English language right there. Moving on to the Jags, who are probably gonna have the number one pick. Sorry, Jags fans, you guys ain't that good, but you got Ronnie Harrison over here, and then you got AJ Can, who is a right guard that I've never heard of, but he actually looks decent, very well-rounded, and Ronnie Harrison, not too bad either, he's big, okay speed but he's got the 88 hit power right there so you already know he's gonna lay the fucking boom we like guys over here that can lay the fucking boom <laughs> Last year's Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, have Austin Reader, who is a center, and then Anthony Hitchens, a middle linebacker, but we got so many good middle linebackers here. He's more of a run stuffer. He's got the 87 hit power. Not too bad, but 79 speed, not good zone. He's not going to be a good user for you. We got the LA Chargers rocking with Forrest Lamp. Imagine your last name being Lamp, and your parents name you Forrest. Ooh. Forrest Lamp. Bro, this guy had a rough childhood. Denzel Perryman over here at middle linebacker. 90 hit power. God damn, that boy's gonna lay the pipe. Next up, we got the LA Rams with Cam Akers at running back. 88 speed, not too bad day one. And then Ashawn Robinson, who he doesn't look that great. He doesn't do anything too good. He's just a big fat body to put in the middle. But just remember, fat people are people too. I don't know, man. I've seen a lot of good ones so far, but most of them have been cornerbacks. The freaking Dolphins got screwed to with the left tackle, defensive combo, defensive tackle combo. Nothing great right there, but it's the Dolphins. Do we expect them to have anything good? Come on. Vikings have Justin Jefferson, who they stole from the Packers, and I'm still pissed about it. 88 speed, 6 foot 1, good spec catch, good catch in traffic, good catch. Card looks really well balanced all around, gonna be a good day one wide receiver. And then they got Mike Hughes, who he looks alright. The Tom brady list New England Patriots rocking with Adam Butler as their defensive player, who looks alright with the 84 power move. And then Marquise Lee, who I didn't even know they had, bro. Saints have so many people they can choose from, probably the most talented team in the NFL. And you know what EA does? They pick Traquan Smith, then Kiko Alonso. I think they just went with who had the funniest names. The New York Football Giants with their franchise quarterback, Daniel Jones, with the 81 speed. I didn't know that boy was that fast. And then Marcus Golden. I would take neither of those cards, but, you know, if you're a Giants fan, go for it. Bro, what is up with these two cards for the Jets? Jordan Jenkins, and then Sam Darnold. Dude, Jets fans wouldn't even take Sam Darnold. <laughs> Raiders and their newcomer, Jason Witten, who of course is slow as shit. Very nice run block though. And then Nevin Lawson, Andre Dillard, and Jatavius Brown represent the Eagles in, oh my god, 47 power, 57 finesse move. Dude, this guy's ass is rushing the passer. All right, this might be my favorite theme builder I've seen so far for the Steelers. Terrell Edmonds, six foot one, 89 speed, 90 hip power. Great card. The only reason I would consider not taking him is if you guys haven't seen, Isaiah Simmons is the rookie master. He's an 87 overall. Card looks absolutely insane with like 90 speed, 87 hit power. Great card, but instead of middle linebacker, they have him at strong safety, which is also what Terrell Edmonds plays. And then they got Matt Feeler, but let's face it, if you're picking the Steelers, you're going with Terrell Edmonds. San Francisco getting some rookie love with Javon Kinlaw, who looks okay, he's very well balanced, and then Kendrick Bourne, who I've never, bro, I haven't heard of half of these team builders. Seahawks got Brandon Shell at right tackle, kind of ironic, because let's face it, their O-line's fucking trash, and they gave him a right tackle team builder. EA logic. And then Bruce Irvin with 84 speed, good power move, terrible finesse move, good block shit. He's all right. The final three starts out with the Tom Brady-led Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Antoine Winfield Jr., 5'9", 87 speed, 84 hit bar. Looks all right, but he, he's a little guy. We don't like little guys. And then Donovan Smith, left tackle, linemen are irrelevant. Tennessee Titans got Jonu Smith, who's a tight end that most people probably have no idea who he is, but 85 speed on tight end. Card actually looks pretty decent. And then newcomer Vic Beasley on defensive side ball, more of a speed rusher with that 85 speed. And then our final team is the Washington football team. And they got Cole Holcomb and then Chase Belier. Who the hell are these people, bro? But anyways, there you have it, guys. That is every single team builder, two for each team. So we got what? 64 team builders that you can choose from right there. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite ones are. I think mine are going to be Terrell Edmonds, Justin uh, Jefferson, wide receiver for the Vikings. I hate saying that. 
and then probably I would go H.A. Charlie. He's got a good mixture of speed, zone, very well-balanced card, but let me know in the comments section what your favorite cards are, and let me know what you are most excited about for Man 21. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.